Hello and good morning. I'm meteorologist Sean McAdee. Right now we are tracking a nice day ahead and a nice weekend too, but you got some chances for rain. We're tracking what's left of smoke, some scattered weekend showers, and a hot and dry week ahead next week. Oh, gosh, it's not good news for farmers. It's hot and not that humid. But basically no chance for rain aside from some smaller ones this weekend. This morning, air quality is still not great. Uh, it's a lot better than it was yesterday, but it's not great. Definitely not. And you know what? You can still look to the west. You can see a sliver of some worse air quality, some more smoke over to our west. <clears throat> Excuse me. This could creep back into our viewing area this evening as winds start to turn out of the west. But for most of the day, mostly sunny skies. You know, there's a couple of light clouds here and there, but you're in the midst. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm coughing. So maybe it's the air quality. Apologize. Uh, hey, we're in the mid 70s this afternoon. Not that windy. Mid 70s. Dry, come on, it's a nice day. Air quality is pretty good this morning. It's, it's a lot better than it was. It does get a little bit worse this evening as some of that wildfire smoke makes a resurgence and a, and a return. Same thing tomorrow. It's just kind of lingering, not quite as bad as this evening. It's still not too bad. So let's run you through Sky Tracker 3. Here's this afternoon. You're getting off work. We're in the mid 70s. I put Rochester 74, 75, North Iowa, probably closing in at the upper 70s. It'll also generally be a little bit cooler closer to the river, a bit warmer closer to I 35. Now we continue to hold with clear skies for the most part overnight. We'll drop into the 50s briefly, but we spend the morning rising through the 60s and 70s into the mid 80s tomorrow. Most of tomorrow is fine. You can get outside despite what your phone says on, you know, you look at the day and despite what my seven day forecast shows with the thunderstorm icon. Those are all true, but most of the day you're fine. Mostly sunny skies. Come on, it's nice. Look at 630 here in the SkyTracker 3 model. There's the storms. Most of the day is fine before then. So it's not going to storm all day. That's not what it is. I think these chances start along I-35, like 4 or 5 p.m., 6 p.m. That's going to be Mason City, Forest City, Northwood, Albert Lee, maybe Charles City soon after that. Those chances are going to have a hard time really holding on overnight, but you'll see them return early Sunday morning. Uh, and that'll be a little bit further east of so places like Rochester, Fillmore County, Cresco. Got a better chance of some rain for the first half of Sunday. Sunday afternoon, though, you can see things clear out again uh, for the most part. So tomorrow at Rochester Fest, by lunchtime, we're in the 70s. After that, we're in the 80s, mostly sunny skies, becoming a little bit more cloudy as some of those showers and storms to the west get close. And yes, there is a small chance tomorrow for rain in Rochester. I think those chances are going to be towards the evening hours. Uh, Sunday chances are better in Rochester, a little bit not quite as good closer to Mason City. How much rain are we going to get? The right answer is not enough. We need about an inch and we'll be lucky to get, you'll be lucky to get over a quarter of an inch. Some of us will though, some of us will.